As the prophet of esports, I rely on trustworthy and meaningful data every day. Data from our research partner, YouGov, offers the most complete view of esports fans and gamers in the world, providing context to who they are, what they think, the brands they buy, and things they do. YouGov's connected insights and research services inform strategy at every level. If you're a team, a brand, agency, or rights holder, you should be talking with YouGov. Their partners measure and maximize ROI and are telling compelling stories with data. Visit yougov.com slash gaming dash esports to learn more. Um, Reputable Hype says all the, war, all the it, world yeah. needs is Ralph Bakshi, Lord of the Ring NFTs, and it's back in the zeitgeist. <laughs> um, I agree. We'll have people speaking Elvish in Discord servers. <laughs> Um, Adam says, I personally love Harry Potter more than Lord of the Rings and Star Wars, but I think it's not as valuable as the other two as total IPs. This, I just think in terms of depth, it's not there. You don't have the same scope of universe as you do. And I would argue Star Wars has a smaller universe in some ways than even a Lord of the Rings or a Marvel. As much of a, there is a lot of like extended universe stuff with star wars that's no longer considered canon or like whatever they that, call that's it that's the argument though right it's because they they decanonized if that's a word yeah. the the existing uh yeah environment or history antonio says harry potter after marvel i i, th I think everyone i think we all with agree that. with that yeah um uh, beast says a lego marvel and star wars were the best games i've ever played when i was younger yeah i mean i i think the, there were some good games in those. I mean, Marvel has not really had a hit game, I don't think. Uh, yeah, because the Guardians game Disney, was really good, but that's a low standard. What Disney, was that, Jeff? Well, well, Disney needs to insource the methods of production. They need to buy a gaming studio, either Epic or EA, and they need to make games. And they should be making great Marvel games, the best IP out there. The fact that there's not an amazing Iron Man game, an amazing Thor game, like these are yeah. like the Hulk. Imagine playing a game with the Hulk. It's just I mean, they, crazy. They do to have a game. Cool. It's just not very good. I know they go. They've like, tried. They've that's tried the a problem. bunch of times. Yeah. yeah <laughs> it, it, like, the problem is they're not good, but they should be. Um, Chris says, Lord of the Rings Shadow of Mordor sold 4 million units. I take my comments back just a little. There you go. I, Chris, what, that like you're Shadow the best of viewer yeah. when, you can, when you can contradict yourself uh, and give facts to the contrary. I love it. You know what else sold uh, 4 million units? What? Grand Theft Auto 5 sold 4 million units in the last three months. That game's been out for seven, <laughs> eight years. So like, that's mice nuts. That's useless. That's nothing. That's terrible. 4 million units. Garbage. Just juiced all over the conversation. I don't know if it's Throw mice nuts, but like... Throw that away. Um, <laughs> it doesn't even cover the licensing cost. <laughs> You're right, but you know it's better than and a selling reasonable a million. profit down the line. You know, you get the <laughs> licensing cost, the fees, the Microsoft. You're not even. You can't even afford to to eat. No, you're you're <laughs> taking the bus. Um, Tom says the reason Disney has been successful with Marvel is because they let Marvel Studios run with it. DC is not as lucky. I mean, DC doesn't. I don't think DC has the breadth of or depth of universe either. But I agree, Disney. Uh, I, 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 actually, I don't know, I, Tom. I don't know about this internally. I mean, you may know better than than I do, or I don't know if you guys have thoughts on this. But Disney's hand seems to be a definite factor in Marvel's success, right? I think. Does everyone agree with that? I, th I think uh, a lot of the the Disney touches on Marvel IP has really weakened the brand for me personally. You know, watching all of the new shows on Disney Plus, a lot of them are are a lot weaker than how how some of the movies were. And I, I kind of agree with Tom, but I would just say, Tom, check out Peacekeeper on HBO Max. It is awesome. John Cena uh, is, is a star and it's it's so good. Um, but in general, I, I kind of agree with that. JC says, uh, no, I think Adam's on target. And Adam had said uh, Lord of the Rings and Star Wars ahead of Harry Potter, which I agree with. Uh, Freddie says Lord of the Rings is great, but it seems easier to create similar IP without infringing. I mean, like come fantasy. On. I don't know about that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, because they're, I mean, it's elves and trolls, I, I guess. I mean, you yeah. got a pretty big world and like story building. Like, that's, I don't know. I mean, I get it. Right? You can't just knock sort of off. like a good example, right? 
it's also just not that hard to create superheroes, right? Like give some guy powers and a suit, right? Like, I mean, you're right. It's not Iron Man, but I feel like I, I get it. Like I, intuitively, I, I don't disagree. Fantasy is a little more generic, if you want to say. Um, but Tolkien's really deep. Um, our sanity says just because a movie does great does not mean the game would be great. We have seen the inverse, for example, Assassin's Creed, horrible movie, but good game. The Halo movie, too, with the exception of Arcane. I mean, our sanity, we've covered this so much on this show, on the podcast. Um, I encourage you to go back and watch those episodes. Uh, but like Jeff, thoughts? I was going to say, did you guys, and we maybe this is the transition. Did you guys see they're making a Bioshock Netflix? Uh, Yes. Show or movie? Super excited. What do you think? I think it'll be. What does chat think? Good, bad? Does I and actually wait? Here's a question. Yeah. Is this the first step to Netflix buying Take Two? (laughs) No. I don't think so either. (laughs) Why not? I I, to be fair, I don't think so either. We've covered Netflix and gaming many many times, but like I know. Why why don't they buy the cow when they're getting the milk for free? You know what I mean? Can I ask a related question? They're not getting the milk for free. (laughs) What percentage of people who watch the Bioshock TV show on Netflix? What percentage of those viewers do you think will have played the game? Probably the same as Witcher, as the Witcher show. No, I think that I don't agree with. Why? Why not? Just because the I think a way lower percentage. I think Bioshock's way more niche. Mm. And I, I know it's a game that has done very well, and it's a it's a it's an IP that has done very well. But I I do think the audience is much more niche for Bioshock. So you're saying that there will be more non-players who watch it? Correct. Because, I thought you were saying yeah, less. No, I think meaning more. I think the majority of people who watch it on Netflix will be like, oh, this is cool. Like, like sorry. Yeah. Uh, you cool. know, it's, it's like a you know, sci-fi. Uh, what do they call it? Steampunk, like right? Yeah. Like, oh, this is neat mm-hmm. or whatever. Um, but beyond that, they may never know that it's related to a, you know, a game in the same way you could watch the trailer for uncharted on TV and be like, you could never, if, if no one told you and you've never played that game, it looks like just an adventure movie. Right. Um, right. Chris says the nerd in me just wants dragon Lance. Um, our sanity says be some Lego games were great. Other were meh. Uh, and Jonah, that, that it's because that number is not, it's not accurate. It doesn't show most of the platforms. Um, JC says it's Marvel and Disney together as a powerhouse. Um, I mean, this is true, right? Lego, Lego games. Um, uh, it is Marvel and Disney together as a powerhouse. You put those two together, usually you get good results. I'm actually surprised. It's a whole other rabbit hole, but how good Lego games perform. Lego is another piece of IP that is remarkably popular, despite I would call pretty shallow universe, right? Like (laughs) blocks. Um, Our sanity says I'm talking directly about gaming for my list with my previous reasons above. Yeah. Our sanity. We, I think we, we assumed your list was gaming only. And I think we all agree with it. Chris says the FGC would like to have words with you. Marvel versus Capcom two forever. (laughs) Um, Lord of the Rings is my high. Star Wars is my low. Chris, I hate FGC games because I'm bad at them. Um, Kevin says, would the new Harry Potter game have a significant impact on value given the success of its movies and spinoffs? Yeah. I mean, I think it certainly would. Anytime you can extend the brand into more media, more mediums. I just haven't released the the only harry potter game we've seen recently was a big flop right that's what i was saying i haven't really seen any success with other applications of the harry potter ip I don't think it's or from like, the books and the movies go for it i just i don't think that they've done a great job with any of them because the wizarding world of harry potter universal is awesome and somehow they're just i don't know it's like whoever has tried to translate that has not done a great job to me I mean, I also think there's demographics that play into these, the value of this IP, right? Like, I think if you look at the range of uh, demographics it appeals to, my feeling is Harry Potter's more limited than a uh, Star Wars or a Lord of the Rings or most definitely a Marvel. And maybe some of the reasons of Marvel's success is just the range of, of demographics that it appeals to is probably the biggest of all of them, right? You've got sort of something for everyone. 
I, I kind of think, and, and I like Tom's argument earlier, and, and this gives more credit to, I know I was super critical of uh, the Bungie Sony uh, acquisition the, the a week or two ago, but it gives a lot, I think there's a lot to be said also with the teams that are launching these visions, right? Tom kind of saying that's why Marvel's successful for Disney because they're letting Marvel run with it. Us talking about Sony building in, what was it, 1.2 billion to keep the team around Bungie. Um, I get what you're talking about in terms of being appealing to a wider variety of people, but execution, I, I would argue, is just as important um, because we could see, I, I would argue that DC and Marvel cater to arguably the same overlapping demographic and and Marvel is blowing DC out of the water with execution. Um, Beast Mode says, I just can't see Harry Potter making a game. Well, they did. Niantic did. Uh, and then they just shut it down recently. Um, Tom says that's There's another the guys Harry Potter game coming soon, right? It's uh, Harry Potter uh, Spell Break or something. I don't know who's making it. I'm not sure. Our sanity says, isn't there a Harry Potter MMO coming oh, out? Go, go. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, thought, I thought that too. I don't know how you make an MMO. Well, maybe you could. I mean, maybe you could. <clears throat> gonna go to school and choose a house. Game. I'm going to play <laughs> Quidditch and all that good stuff. <laughs> Adam says, I'm, I'm all for good. video games being made into shows and movies, honestly. Uh, this is why they're making them, Adam. No question. Antonio says, Bioshock, thumbs up. There are definitely fans of Bioshock. I'm trying to catch up on previous podcasts. There are just so many. <laughs> or Sandy said, um, yes, uh, like 250 episodes at least. Probably closer to 300 now. Yeah, our um, Sandy, I'll, I'll make it easy for you. Just skip the ones that I'm not a part of. You'll catch up so much faster. <laughs> that's, a, that's so much faster. <laughs> um, Chris says, Bioshock can be a criterion level of film with the themes of that title. So yeah, lower than Witcher. But I think... Again, the fans of Criterion films are like a niche audience, right? It's, it's more niche, um, even though it, it, we may agree it, it makes for a better movie. Because I agree, Witcher is like short stories, right? Like really light on content, um, but makes for a pretty mass market appeal. Uh, JC says Marvel is executing better. Yes, uh, I, I agree with that. I think uh, Jimmy made a good point there. Freddie says, don't forget about the importance of E10... E, E10 and T as you have this discussion. Oh, uh, I'm biased. So uh, like teenagers and, and kids basically I'm biased, but kids are going to become more and more important when it comes to games and IP in general. I mean, Freddie, that's, and I'm curious what you guys think, but that that's the comment I made, right? Like the, the, what is the range of audiences that these, these IP appeal to from a game's perspective, it feels like some are better suited to capture um from kids to adults rather than a more narrow version of a uh, slice of that spectrum or sandy says i'd have to disagree with jimmy don't marvel and dc share the same demographics marvel like profit said is wide dc is more grim and gritty superhero films mature audience i i mean obviously i agree with that okay jimmy <laughs> uh, i think that's i think as a result of execution they're telling dark batman stories not a lot. I mean, the Wonder Woman stories aren't grimy, aren't aren't dark and grimy. To be so, fair, when they tried telling colorful Batman stories, those didn't those didn't go over so well. Although there's <laughs> there's a soft spot in my heart for yeah. Mister Freeze somewhere. Um, Sh Sh Shazam also is DC. That wasn't super dark, and we'll see how Black Adam does. I'm interested because that could be the saving grace. I thought uh, Aquaman was a missed opportunity though. Uh, Michael says hello everyone. Doesn't Netflix gaming have a Stranger Things game? I think it's they more do. just like a mobile, a mobile. right? Like yeah. casual. Okay. Um, I like pair with the show. Yeah. JC says, yes. 